Hi guys! Today we will take on some water from a variety of sources and check what will grow in it in a month, depending on the place of collection. The first on our list will be water from the Black Sea. We took on the second copy just a few days later in an incredibly salty lake. There is so much salt here that it practically lies on the shore. And the water here is literally teeming with some representatives of the marine fauna. And it's impossible to take on some water so that these creatures don't get into the vessel. Let's see what happens next. We'll also get some water from the well. I wonder if there might be some form of life that could germinate in a month. You can immediately notice that the water is crystal clear. We've taken some water from a puddle. Arriving at the hangar, it turns out that we have scooped up a frog. It's quite tiny, the size of a fingernail. Of course, we let the frog into the river, giving it a chance to live. We've taken on another jar of water from the river. There is a lot of fauna here, something interesting can grow. We also get some water from the tap. Two jars at once. We will additionally purify the water in one with disinfecting tablets. It's a purification reaction. All copies are on the table. It remains to fill the last control jar with distilled water. We move all the samples to the windowsill. The organisms potentially living in water will receive a sufficient amount of sunlight. We cover all the jars with a mosquito net so that other living organisms like flies do not think of washing their feet here. So, 10 days have passed. It's time to look at the intermediate result. The changes here are more than obvious. Let's start with the sample that has turned green the most. There are a lot of single-celled algae here. There are the wall colonies on the walls of the vessel. Considering that such algae can move through the air, we can say that this water has become the most favorable environment for their growth. And this sample is… from the sea. The sample from the river has taken the second place according to the number of single-celled algae. The sea and the river have turned out to be leaders in the growth of flora. And there is some fauna in the river water. We have found four inhabitants at once, one large and three smaller ones. After searching the internet, we are able to identify this kind of creatures. This is a type of water bug called a water boatman. The size of the largest ones is about a sixteenth of an inch. These creatures are very young. It will be very interesting to see how the bugs grow during the experiment. 
By the way, they eat the algae. From the very beginning, the inhabitants were in the water from the salt lake. They have turned out to be the larvae of a common mosquito. Some individuals are still developing. The water from the lake turns out to be so salty that a small island of salt crystals has formed on its surface. All the silt in the water from the puddle has settled on the bottom and on the walls. By the way, this is the only sample in which we have seen gas bubbles. This is because of the slime that has formed on the surface. If you remove the plaque, you can see that the water becomes transparent after the settling. Nothing interesting happens here apart from the above. Let's move on to the four cleanest samples. The dirtiest of the clean ones is on clean tap water. A lot of algae have grown here. All of them have accumulated at the bottom. And there is some garbage floating on the surface. In general, the water seems to have become much cloudier during these 10 days. But the most interesting fact is that there is a life form from the animal world here. That's harsh, but the tap water has turned out to be a favorable environment not only for algae, but also for bugs. And it is not alone, there are at least four organisms. They are different to see, only movement is visible. We have identified these creatures as a smooth water bug with the help of information from the Internet. They are so small that we have to catch even the biggest one with syringes. You can compare how much this drop is smaller than a matchbox. There is simply plenty of space for the bug in a drop of water. Even if you compare it to a match head, you can clearly see how tiny it is. And we have caught the largest one. The results suggest that we shouldn't drink raw tap water. It must be boiled or filtered. Or it is even better to use such water only as a technical one, for washing hands, dishes and, of course… The well water is the next one. It immediately catches the eye that small crystals of salt float on top, and the walls of the jar are very heavily overgrown with crystals. If you touch it, it feels like sandpaper. There is no such effect in the sample from the salt lake. Here you can clearly see what the tap water looks like, it is in the middle. The jar on the right is filled with the same water, but with the addition of a cleaning tablet. There is the control sample, distilled water on the left. The water disinfection tablet has done its job. And now only dead microorganisms are floating on the top. So what about distilled water? After all, it is exemplary to be crystal clear even after 10 days. There's a month of waiting past. We can note from general observations that not the cleanest water has evaporated much more than in transparent samples. Apparently, it has attracted more sunlight. The crystal island on the surface of the water from the salt lake has grown even larger. But the mosquito larvae have decreased, there is only one left. The rest is already drinking blood somewhere. But this is not the most interesting, because what we are most interested in is what's happened to the fauna there. To our surprise, there are only two of the four boatmen left in the water taken from the river. The rest hasn't undergone natural selection. But these two have managed to grow up a lot. Their size is already more than a fifth of an inch. These are impressive growth rates. Now it is much more convenient to shoot it. And in general to see what it is like. And what about the creatures that live in tap water? It is difficult to name what we have seen in the vessel, except for harsh. The dimensional characteristics of the inhabitants of the water haven't changed, but the number. Now a real colony of two or even three dozen bugs has formed here. Everything says a lot about the quality of water from the city's water supply. I understand that someone will say, larvae or caviar of some organisms that are in water dissolve easily in gastric juice and do not pose a threat to life. Perhaps that is the way it is. But if it is not possible, do not drink tap water, it is better to boil it. You can see by yourself why. It is all for now. Bye-bye!